Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 29th, 2019. So as we start to wind down this trading month, we've got a huge week ahead of us, and the market will be forced to drink from a, literally a fire hose of data this week. Um, it's gonna be pretty intense. We should probably expect some considerable volatility. We should probably expect the market to be very challenging in its price action. So let's take a look at what we have going on here as, as we move forward. If we take a look at the index charts without a bias, let's remove our bias. Let's just take a look at what the charts are telling us. And then we'll go through the rest of the data and see what we have to face this week. So first off, we had this little trend going on here in the diamonds and the diamonds dropped through that trend, dropped into this price support area, and now has proven to hold that as support. Now this morning we have the futures just kind of bouncing around flat. Right now as I'm recording this Dow futures are up five whole points and actually that just slipped to one point and we've been bouncing around between positive and negative this morning even though they were positive pretty much overnight all night we had some economic data in uh, Europe come out that um, once again raises a little bit of fear of that economic slowdown that we're not seeing here in the U U.S. according to our data. So if you take a look, um, we still have the opportunity that we could test up into here. And I, and I think we're so close, um, it's hard for me to believe that we won't make it through up the, in, into that area. But we want to watch this closely because as we approach resistance, this is how failure, top failures can be produced. If we happen to miss up here and can't make it through, we could have that ugly failure pattern up here. So keep an eye. Diamond's struggling here just a little bit, but the good news is it is holding on to support and we'll just want to pay attention to these resistance levels up in here as we start approaching them. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY, much better situation. The SPY closed Friday, very strong, closed right up there. I mean, just right there. And as a matter of fact, if we take a look, our high of the day, 293.49, and the past high over here, uh, 293.94. So we're within pennies of that full on breakout here in the SPY. And this morning we're seeing uh, the SPY futures just a tiny little bit lower. But that's okay. Taking a look at what we have going on here, if we take a look at this current trend, at least the way I have it drawn, if we take a look at this current trend, we're holding above price support, and that's a good sign we're also holding above trend. We are being challenged by a little bit of price resistance in here, but so far, nothing out of the ordinary. And if we were to do only consolidate if we were only able to consolidate over here notice that we have plenty of room to be able to consolidate or even pull back holding on to support or trend for that opportunity to move higher so we've got really good signals here um, and really good strength in uh, the s p uh, 500 trend let's take a look at the queues Our Q's, whoops, has been the strongest index out there. Very, very strong and holding up well. Friday, leaving behind a bit of a hammer pattern here after consolidating for a couple, three days. And this morning, futures, Dow or uh, NASDAQ futures are showing just a slightly lower open this morning, at least at the moment. But let's keep in mind that what we have going on here is we have a very strong trend. Now, almost too strong a trend, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Um, when you look at 
this move right in here, here there's really been no uh, significant pullback to test a level of support. That is a little bit of a concern when we've moved that far that fast without any major pullback um, or a significant test of a support level. So keep in mind that if we do pull back, we have plenty of support right here that could catch us. So don't be too surprised if at some point in time here in the near future, we don't find that resting pullback or consolidation uh, pullback into this area. And if we hold there, I think we're in good shape. So we'll want to watch for that closely. We've been up a lot of a lot of days in a row. Doesn't mean we can't continue going up in the NASDAQ, but just keep in mind any any kind of a stumble could create some profit taking and um uh, we could see that NASDAQ pullback. That's not critical until we start breaking down through support levels. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM had a good day on Friday coming back, but we still have to recognize the fact that we haven't been able to break out of these resistance levels. And perhaps we can do that this week, but right now we're struggling around here. We just can't seem to break through, at least at the moment. But the good news is that we held this support level. So we had this higher low test, and right now that creates a bit of an uptrend here. So as we continue to press against this resistance, keep in mind what we've done is created a price wedge and this price wedge in here could wind around a little bit more before potentially popping higher or, or moving lower so we'll want to watch that pretty closely that price wedge is getting very very tight um, in the market and if we continue to see good signs here in in the diamonds the spiders the cues there would be no reason to believe why this couldn't push on through to the upside so let's keep a close eye on that chart Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX has been bouncing around here um, off of this uh, support level. And here's a pretty substantial support. In fact, if I pull this back, you'll see that that area runs way back here in the chart. So we have a fairly significant level of support and we've been kind of bouncing around here. We've been threatening a few times, you know, of, of a little bit of fear kind of creeping into the market. And then on Friday that pulled um, completely back um, in this move. So watch this as we move down closer to this support level for that potential of a bounce or if we fall on through that would certainly bring fear into the market so let's watch that close keep in mind trend trend in this chart has no signs at least at this point has no signs of breaking the downtrend so i don't want to be uh, making anyone believe that we're uh, at an imminent failure point because we are not and that's not what the vix is showing us here um, we do have this bit of a wedge pattern forming here in the chart so keep in mind as we continue um, in this area if we continue to tighten this area up then we have that opportunity to break higher or to break lower let's take a look at t2122 that four week new high new low ratio and on friday we've been bouncing well we've been doing quite a little bit of bouncing around on friday the rally um, there at the end of the day moving us back up you can see we rose pretty strongly here on T2122, but that still leaves us plenty of an open door. We have plenty of room to move higher here in T2122 to test these bearish resistance areas in the chart and um, also we have plenty of room to move to the downside so both are possible and notice that these reversal zones are, are very very um, consistent uh, if you take a look through the chart we rally up in here we pull back we rally, we fall down into here and we rally back so pretty crazy um, how how well this works and right now all it's showing us is we have the potential to go up or down it doesn't tell us that we're at imminent risk of a big move up or or a failure um, or um, um, 
uh, finding any kind of resistance up here to drop. So we're kind of stuck here in the middle without a really clear direction from T21, 22, which means we have the ability to bounce around both sides. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And actually, we'll take a quick look for the week. As you can see, this economic calendar is chock full of big um, reports, market moving type reports this week. Um, and those are just those that really tend to move the market a lot. Notice all of these other reports that also are uh, filled in here on the economic calendar. So this morning, we have um, personal incomes and outlays, and that comes out at 8.30 this morning. That's definitely a market mover, and one we'll want to pay attention to at 8.30 uh, this morning. But kind of keep in mind that after that, there won't be much on the economic calendar for the rest of the day. Let's take a look, uh, though, and, and where we have probably our uh, biggest concern for uh, the calendar this week is that FOMC announcement here at 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. FOMC starts tomorrow. The only reason that raises a, a little concern, we all know the FOMC is backed off. They're not trying, they're not expecting any price increases. However, with the strong economic data that we've been getting, it is entirely possible that the FOMC might come out in their statement sounding just a bit more hawkish. If that happens, we could see a lot more market volatility be created here. So you'll want to keep an eye on that on Wednesday afternoon. And then, of course, Friday, we have the big employment situation number coming out as we head into May. And that can create some volatility. Remember, um, we're going to start hearing that fun phrase come out um, here anytime. Uh, you may have already heard it. Some folks are probably already reacting to it. And it's going to be repeated about 100,000 times over the next couple of weeks. And that is sell in May and go away. Now, I, I can tell you there are times that that is truly a valid uh, phrase. And then there are times when it is just ridiculously wrong, <laughs> but people continue to repeat it. So kind of keep that in mind. Uh, that is one of those things that can sometimes create some of that little bit of extra volatility. There's that little bit of fear that could come into the market just because of that silly little phrase and people repeating it over and over and over. So watch that closely as we slide into May. Let's take a look um, at a few charts that um, are reporting uh, first thing this morning and let's see if we can see anything that's going on in there. We have Cooper Tire CTB reporting this morning and looks like it hasn't reported yet uh, this morning. Um, Let's see, what else we have reporting this morning? I don't know if we have anything that's already out. D.O. Um, Diamond Offshore, I yeah, can't see anything in that chart um, necessarily, at least at this moment, that it's reported. So nothing, we're not getting any big reactions this morning. And honestly, there's not really uh, too many big uh, market movers this morning um, reporting looks like Spotify looks like Spotify may have reported good report uh, good earnings report and is gapping up this morning so we'll want to keep an eye on that right now Dow futures as I'm recording this Dow futures are up five points ES is down one and a half NASDAQ down 4.25 and so we're looking at kind of a flat open as we wait for some of this data to come in and probably wait for that economic number to come out as well. So, hey everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if this is uh, the first time you've seen anything that we do here in Right Way Options, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Um, you know, 
as as this channel grows and um, by the way there's there's no intention to ever make any money from this channel this is just truly to try and help folks with their trading i provide all kinds of free information on this channel to just help other traders i know for years and years and years i struggled and struggled and struggled and trying to find quality information that wasn't just filled with hype and prediction was uh, near to impossible and this is just one of those ways where I can try and do uh, my part uh, to help other traders um, improve their trading. You know, I've been very, very blessed to be able to do this 14 years full time. So if you find this information useful, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button and follow through and, and, and leave a quick comment because every time um, you leave a comment, even the briefest of comment, comments, um, helps those algorithms show these videos to more people and help other traders. So thank you so much for those of you who do that. You mean the world to me and I, and I mean that truly. Um, I, I truly have a heart for traders and I, I want to do the best job I possibly can in helping folks improve their trading results. Also, please feel free to share this video with any friends and family. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at maybe a couple of charts that could be doing something there. There's a there's a reason to be a little bit concerned right now, a reason for a little bit of caution, but there are some charts out there showing some signs of some strength. One of those might be Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble had a really strong move on Friday. As you can see, very strong. Now it is, it has broken its, its uptrend. Okay, broke the uptrend. And so what has to happen here? Well, for me, one of the most important things when a stock breaks a support level is it must reclaim it and then prove that it can hold it as support. So what I would tell you is this chart is not ready to trade yet, but breaking back above this this uh, support level, if this were to rest or pull back, hold a higher low in here in support, we could just um, resume this trend so you might want to keep an eye on procter and gamble big move on friday nice and strong and it's one of those consumer defensives that seems to uh, do very very well um, in a market condition um, like we're in right now just a little bit of confusion going on here in the market will markets be strong after all this data or will we find some weakness and so there's a little bit of move toward those uh, dividend paying companies um, as you can see and, and that's not the only place take a look at MDLZ MDLZ another consumer defensive holding up very very well holding a nice trend nice little tight consolidation in here it's found its way back to its trend we're going to want to watch this in here if this happens to start moving up out of this area we have a big I'm going to go back here um, um, blue sky up here in this uh, chart big blue sky opening up above I placed a resistance line up here just based on a, off of Fibonacci but I there's no way to know that that's actually going to do anything up here um, but watch this for that potential if that starts moving higher Take a look at First Solar, FSLR. FSLR, nice little trending chart here. Moving up and we've had this really nice little consolidation across here and holding up well. I love this little pop-up and this light volume pullback, this little resting pullback. Watch for any kind of sign that this wants to push up higher. But for solar starting to look pretty good, nice little trend possibility beginning to develop here, uh, changing its trajectory just a little bit. So watch that one close. For solar has some opportunity, I think, to the upside. Take a look at Activision. Activision, doggone it, this thing owes me some money because I lost some money on this back in here where it broke back down after looking like it was ready to go higher and um, Activision pushing up nicely recovering 
recovering its uh, uh, support area. So if this were to rest or pull back or hold up in here, show any kind of sign that it wants to hang in here and then provide a buy signal, there may be opportunity in Activision. And by the way, this is what we call a round of bottom breakout pattern. And that round of bottom breakout is nothing more than we break and hold above that 50 day moving average. Notice all of our shorter term averages pulling up here to provide price support in this chart. So breaking above this, this level is kind of a big deal as long as it can prove to hold above there and we have an opportunity uh, maybe to trade that chart. Let's take a look. Um, now this is kind of a bummer because Apple is going to report <coughs> Apple is going to report tomorrow, but we have a beautiful setup here in Apple. And this is the last time um, right way options traded Apple. We made really good money on this trade. And now we've pulled back this nice little resting pullback and just one day ahead of earnings. So we want to keep an eye on Apple when it approaches that earnings. I don't think I would I want to take any risk on this chart heading into earnings but as we get past that earnings report we may want to watch this closely depending on how it reacts this could set up for higher or um, obviously um, earnings could uh, break it down so one to keep an eye on um, maybe not one to trade um, right at the moment so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos please click that subscribe button I truly truly appreciate it and everyone I want to wish you all of the best if you're struggling as a trader never give up um, on that dream of being a full-time trader. It took me years to figure this stuff out and start building an account where I could uh, go full-time. Um, it, it's not easy, but it can be done. If I can do it, anyone can. So everyone, you take care of yourselves. Have a great day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one.